actress and comedian Kate Michukchi, known for her role as Lucy on The Big Bang Theory, has revealed on TikTok that she was diagnosed with lung cancer despite never smoking a cigarette in her life, she says. Yeah, which raises an alarm for us here. Dr. Jen, uh, take us to mini school, mini med school on this one. Yeah, so, you know, when doctors hear that shock, we say this is not a surprise because it's well known that up to 20% of lung cancer occurs in people who have never smoked. But that means that the majority do occur in smokers, despite that well known, and it's not a new statistic, uh, the lay public, the general population, still has the same reaction that you guys do. Absolute shock when they hear someone's diagnosed with lung cancer and they've never smoked. We do know that there are, of course, certain risk factors in general for this type of cancer. Um, so let's go through it. Number one, obviously smoking. Secondhand smoke exposure um, is also a significant risk factor. Air pollution may be implicated. Um, and then when you look at things like radiation exposure, whether that's occupational or potentially even therapeutic um, from cancer treatment or a family history of lung cancer, these are the big ones. And again, Again, when you look at one disease, it, very important to look at different subtypes, different pathology, and different people that it affects. So what should you do if you're concerned about it? Mm -hmm. Well, the, the thing that you have to remember when you look at science and screening tests is you can't just screen because you're concerned. There are harms associated with that, and that's not feasible or practical for a variety of reasons. Um, I think certainly if you have one of those known risk factors, you should talk to your health care provider about ways to get screened. Otherwise, when you hear a story like this, and you know, kudos to her for using Using her platform to increase awareness, particularly amongst non-smokers, um, you just have to understand that it's out there. So awareness is really important. So when should you be screened? Okay, so let's go through the risk fact, uh, the screening uh, recommendations because this is another thing that most people are unfamiliar with. Um, this is conclusive. This is well accepted. Adults aged 50 to 80 years old with a smoking history. That's called 20 pack year smoking history. I'll take you through how we calculate that in a second or those who currently smoke or have quit within the past 15 years, and it is recommended to get a low-dose CAT scan of the chest annually. An X-ray will not pick up small lung cancers, small tumors in the lungs, so don't be lulled into a false sense of security of saying, well, I had an X-ray and it was fine. Obviously, if you have symptoms like unintentional weight loss, any kind of blood that you're coughing up, you want to obviously get get evaluated quickly. But when we talk about pack year, it's a mathematic calculation. So if you've smoked one pack a day for 10 years, that's 10 pack years. If you've smoked two packs a day for five years, that's also 10 pack years. So it's just a simple way to kind of equate someone's volume of smoking. This is very alarming. Yeah, but awareness and education is so important both within the lay public and the medical profession. And this is a great example. Yeah, All and right. she was saying that she caught it early. So she's yeah, that's right. She called it way. sick talk, which mm -hmm. I thought was just, again, using her humor to get that message. And out. our platform. Yeah. All right, thank you. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.